Hey guys, Tech Bravo. Um, I've got a quick video that I wanted to do. I've seen a few questions about this, uh, so I thought I would just do it in a video. Um, it's going to talk about changing the config text file in your um, Cohesion 3D Mini on the SD card. Uh, if you have this Mini installed in a machine other than a K40 or if you have a custom bed size. These are defaulted to a 200 by 300 millimeter bed because that's what comes with the stock K40 uh, is 200 by 300. So a couple of things uh, to note. Um, what happens is, is whatever values you have plugged into the config text file, that's what gets uh, recognized by the board when the end stops hit. So this is a uh, home, I guess. Uh, what everybody calls home and that's where the end stops are uh, on, on most of these machines so as they hit the end stops um, it sets the value so it can know where origin is now this is another thing that comes up a lot origin is not up here this is 0 200 up here in the in the top left bottom left <clears throat> is origin which is 0 0 so a lot of people when they start running Lightburn uh, straight out of the gate they say that their images will be reversed or something or it moves backwards that's why they've got the origin set to top left instead of bottom left so once you um, can wrap your head around the origin being different than the home point uh, and the distance between it then you can see why we have this number here that's important and why zero isn't because it's the same in both positions for X so Again, they're set up for a 200 by 300 with the stock firmware. And here is what the stock firmware looks like. So what you'll need to do is power off your Cohesion 3D Mini, extract the SD card, micro SD card, uh, install it into a reader, uh, and plug it directly into your computer. Don't try to manipulate this file over the Windows uh, mass storage device. It could corrupt the files. So, you'll want to get your uh, card in the computer and you'll find a config.txt file. Config.txt. Um, and it will look like this. So, then you can use find if you want. And you want to look for the end stops section, which is right here. This is the end stops section. So, <clears throat> the only figure, the only only parameter we need to be concerned about in here is beta max, which is your Y dimension. And if you'll notice right here, beta max is set to 200 because Y is 200 on the K40. So if you have a 600 by 400 bed, your beta max is going to be 400. So if you have a 600 by 400 uh, work area you just need to change this value from 200 to 400 if you have a k40 and you've expanded it a little bit I had one of those this morning where he had an extra 30 millimeters that he had made you just change the beta max which is the y value uh, to 230 so that's the only one you need to make no changes need to be made to X at all because it's zero for both home and origin so th this is the only figure that'll matter um, and you just put in whatever your your Y distance is in your workspace right here and that's all there is to it so you change it save it um, write it back to the card um, eject the card put it back in the cohesion 3d mini power it up and when it goes to home it will send whatever parameter you set right there and it'll know automatically where origin is again now you need to make sure in your devices in Lightburn um, that you set the y-axis the same way if you have a 600 by 400 of course you'll put 600 in the X and 400 in the Y that's the same value you put in beta max on the config file and then remember your origin is going to be front left not where the home is it's going to be front left so you need to make sure that you do that make sure it's on front left and then you should be ready to fly and that's all there is to it. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, uh, get on the Google Plus 
community or hit us up on Facebook. That'll do it. Tech Bravo out.